Rick's Firearm Academy of Detroit presents personal protection tips. Every episode of this series is designed to impart to you information that will empower you and increase your personal safety. Throughout this series, on each episode, we will touch upon one very helpful tip. The more of these tips that you can simultaneously apply means that you will be that much safer in the community. Before we get to today's personal protection tip, let me just take a few seconds for, I guess what they used to say back in the day as station identification. My name is Rick Ector. I run Legally Armed in Detroit and Rick's Firearm Academy of Detroit. I hope that you will stop by my YouTube channel at ID Detroit CCW for more personal protection tips such as the one that I'm going to impart to you today. And if you like these tips, please like the video, please leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's get started with our personal protection tip. Understanding the crime triangle. As we know from elementary geometry, a triangle is a geometrical figure that has three sides. Accordingly, for a crime to happen, there are three things, three elements that have to simultaneously exist. Desire, ability, and opportunity. Desire is nothing more than a bad guy's willingness to engage in a criminal act. There is no way to look at a person to assess the thoughts that are running through his mind. He can be smiling, frowning, or otherwise looking nondescript, but there is no true way to know what desires run through the heart of another person. Ability. Ability represents the means by which a motivated criminal will use to conduct a criminal offense. It includes but is not limited to the following tools time patience charm proximity speed tools and planning these are the elements that represent opportunity. The third element is the one that is most important because of all the three elements in the crime triangle only one of them opportunity is controllable by the person wishing to not be a crime victim. It is possible to practice the art of avoidance but not by not putting yourself in either an environment or a set of circumstances in which an attack can happen. Special care should be taken to your awareness your habits, strategies, defensive tools, and your associations. By limiting your exposure to motivated criminals with your personal protection tools, 
you can increase your odds of not being selected for victimization for a bad guy. This has been another edition of Personal Protection Tips from Rick's Firearm Academy of Detroit. <laughs>